An excerpt from Presidential Elections and Civil Service Reform by William Graham Sumner, written January 1881. Anyone who will look back at the history of our presidential elections will see by what steady strides the art of electing presidents has been perfected. Each new election has seen more comprehensive generalship. Every part in the machinery of the campaign has a history. The conventions, the committees, the platforms, the campaign fund, the stump speaking, the campaign literature, the campaign songs and singing, the torchlight processions, the semi-military clubs, the banners and the mud machines have each a history of its own. Each organ or engine of campaign work has been developed by itself and as each in higher perfection cooperates with all the rest in each succeeding campaign, and as each is employed on either side, the expenditure of energy is greater at every election, and the struggle is made more and more intense. Every one of these organs of the campaign bears upon the purpose of perfecting organization, stimulating interest, concentrating force upon party victory, that is, upon elevating to power him from whom, if in power, bounty may be expected by the party in question. No institutions have been invented whose purpose is to make sure of getting a competent statement into the presidency, or to secure a direct and simple verdict by the voters upon the administration, or to draw out public opinion on any measure. The institutions which had that purpose have perished, or have been distorted to suit the other purposes. In short, the life principle in the presidential election is the desire for power, and this controlling force has crushed everything else or absorbed everything else. The most serious questions and the most important measures are treated only as a means to great an end. Here we have the reason why all elections fail of educating influence which is alleged in their defense. It is open to everyone's observation that documents, speeches, and arguments have little effect tradition is strong in their favor, but the political managers begrudge the cost of them. Drill and spectacular efforts nowadays play a more far important role in the election. The education the election exerts is education in the art of education of elections, in the tactics of party management, in the shrewd and cynical dealing with the weakness of human nature, and not in the principles of self-government or the knowledge of public questions.